Here is what we're doing today. I want to walk you through and around outside Heritage Point townhomes, that new townhome community that I talked to you about in the top three townhomes to live in the Lynchburg City area. I wanna give you an update. I wanna show you some things that have sold already. We've got some sheetrock up, so that's good. I wanna give you a look at the inside. You can kind of visualize things a little bit better. I'll take some measurements for you. I'll show you the outside, what it looks like, some of the elevation, some of the different stonework, some of the windows. We've got white and black windows, depending on where you are. We've alternated them. We'll take a walk and look at that. Man, is it hot today. I'm sweating here. AC's not in yet, it's not running, but let's take a look at Heritage Point Townhomes and give you an update in case you want to think about purchasing here anytime in the near future. Here's a glance at the overall picture of the layout of the townhomes and the side-by-side -side duplexes. And let me point out again that that house right there, that brick house, that is going to be renovated and finished and sold off as part of this project as well. We have some church bells ringing as I'm telling you what's going on. So this is going to be the first building that's going to be completed August. Ready to move in, take possession. This right here, second building, September. And then as we slide back there, October, and we're going to keep going. We're going to kind of circle around here. There's going to be another string of buildings down here that's done past this building that's done around December, I believe. So. What are we looking at here? As I back away from this house, where I walk away and the house is in back of me, let's uh, swing the camera around and give you a look at what's happening. Let's take a look at this and see what we got going on as far as progress. You can see the different elevation, the different roof lines, the different bump outs like right here, different finishes. You have the black white alternating window scheme going on, which is really nice. Again, we're gonna have another building down there on that end that's empty right now let's take a walk around the outside to give you a feel of what we're looking at this road comes straight in off of Leesville Road so that's Leesville and right back here let's zoom in a little bit Got your side windows on the end unit Obviously, you have the placement here of the new future buildings. Right back beyond that piece of equipment, whatever that is, construction people. What is it, a backhoe? I don't know. You can make fun of me if you'd like. Right down there, back there, that is where the playgrounds are going to be, like the pavilion picnic area. And this is what I'm talking about on the back side of this building as well. As you can see, it's not a straight shot. It's not just cut straight across the back you have different bump outs different pitch lines it's a really nice look so what you're gonna have is yeah you're gonna have some common area here in the back and when you're looking out a back window at a neighbor's or you see a neighbor's house back here you're not gonna be looking at just like a straight sheet of siding you're gonna be looking at some stone some different exterior finish you're gonna be looking at the bump outs and all of that that's what you're gonna see when you're looking at the front or the back of these units It's a very nice look. Modern, fresh, clean. Finishes inside are gonna be really nice. Speaking of which, let's take a jump back inside. Hey now, it's me interrupting me. I forgot to ask you, if you don't mind, give me that thumbs up. The reason that I ask you to do that, and probably anyone else that's online ask you to do that, is because whatever platform they're on, it's going to help the algorithm put them in front of more people. And the reason that I like to be in front of more people is I love to connect with people through this mechanism when they're looking to buy or sell. Because generally when you're watching these videos, if you reach out to me, you have a pretty good sense of whether we're a good fit or not. And you are generally right. I'm like 9.9999. No, that's not right. That would be bad. I'm like 9.9999. I'm like 99.99999% success rate when I connect with people through this mechanism. So when you do the thumbs up, when you subscribe, when you comment, it helps me connect to people that are great fits for me and hopefully I'm a great fit for them and we enjoy working together. So if you see any value in the video whatsoever, even if one of my mistakes made you smile, 
I would appreciate a thumbs up. Thanks, back to the good stuff. So let's take a jump back inside and I'll give you a better idea that we did in the last video, hopefully, of the layout, where things are gonna go, what it's gonna look like, and what kind of space you're going to have. We are inside a Plan C. It's an end unit, three bedroom house. This back here is the living area. If we take a look at some of the rendering, it's gonna look a little bit like this as far as the living area goes. And up towards the front, that is the front door where my table sits right now. That is the kitchen area. So we have our kitchen, and we move into sort of our dining area and back into our living area right here. Now, we do have some things we walked out on the floor, so it's not easy for you to see, but this unit, the end unit, 1,600 square feet, is going to have an island just about where the table is at here. So this is going to be an island and then open between the kitchen and the rest of the house. Some of the other units are gonna have what I'm showing you here, the rendition looks like, has a little peninsula bump out. But all the kitchens are going to come with a refrigerator, which is nice. You do not get that in every new construction home. And it's gonna be nice quality as far as the overall finish. Very nice quality. And we have a half bath right here on the front. And then these doors right here are going to house your washer and dryer. It's filled up with some stuff right now, so I'll show you the washer and dryer when we get into the other unit next door. And right there, hey, there's an agent on duty. Yeah, buddy. All right, let's go upstairs while we're here. Stairs will have carpet. The rest is going to be luxury vinyl plank. I am on wide angle. I don't want to fool anybody. Sometimes that wide angle and normal angle lens can trick some people. So we get up to the top. There's your pull down stairs to access the attic space and a little linen closet there, larger walk-in closet right here and then we have our bedroom and bathroom off to the left let me give you a measurement of what we're looking at with this bedroom 14 feet from this wall to the big back wall from the windows in the back to the bathroom wall 13.1. And that doesn't take into account that little bump out of extra space right there. Here's what our bathrooms look like. We walk in, we have our shower insert with kind of the faux tile finish back there. And then another linen closet right there. That's bedroom one, the primary bedroom. Linen closet. Secondary bath has the tub, shower, the shove, the shower tub insert, another little closet. And then we have bedroom two and three at the front of the house. And I'll give you a measurement on these. Nine feet. Three inches by nine foot five inches to that closet. So that closet pushes into this bedroom a little bit. Nine three by nine five. Nice high ceilings though. You see how all these bedrooms have the ceiling that arches towards the top and then you have a ceiling fan as well. So how tall are the ceilings? Let's go ahead and measure while we're here. About nine, six, nine, seven, depending on how I'm holding my measuring device and where I'm hitting on the ceiling. And this bedroom itself, the closet does not push into this room. So it's nine, five by 11, 10. Let's see if we can get this door open with no handles. Ah. 
pretty good closet space right there. It's a hot day, man. I am sweating. I have a few guests here in the open house, which I'm hosting today. But hey, open, closed. Give me a call. There's my number. There's my name. Give me a call anytime you like. We can discuss Heritage Point. We can discuss other properties. I'm safe. I heard a crack. Everything's okay. Oh, it feels a little cooler down here. That's nice. Let's jump next door. Before we jump into this next unit and I show you the layout where the kitchen is not an island but a peninsula, let me give you some good news. Well, it depends on who you are. Some people like it, some people were not so happy, but Lynchburg City, which is where Heritage Point Townhomes is located within city limits, has recently voted to decrease their property tax from $1.11 per $100 real estate value to $0.89 cents per $100 real estate value. So. Hey, if you want to pay less taxes, that's good news for you. Let's go inside and take a look at this other unit and how the kitchen is laid out a little differently and whew, it's still feeling pretty big inside. I walk right inside and you're in this little entryway and I went from normal angle to wide angle so I can show you what you're looking at. Half bath to the right, kitchen area immediately to your left and here's where you're gonna see that kitchen sink as it looks on the rendering, the artistic rendering and your refrigerator is going to go right here. They built that little bump in so the fridge can get pushed back and it's not eating up space and it's not coming out past this little wall too much, if at all. So you have a nice open feel here and it's this peninsula sticking out, not an island. But look at how big this feels. I know it is big, but let me give you the measurement. Turn my little measuring device back on. 15 feet, six inches wide. Man, that is nice. Now here, you can take a look at the washer and dryer where that's gonna sit in some added storage underneath the stairwell. Now, not a ton of that storage because you have a washer dryer and you're gonna have your hot water heater in there as well. But, look at this. Nice space right here. This is even wider when you go to this bump in area. That's not, that's not construction terms, but 19 feet, one inch from this space all the way over to that space. Now, there were some construction decisions here when they were building these. At one point, we thought about maybe having double doors right here, but what we didn't want to do is eat up the space where you could put your furniture, maybe a bigger sofa. You have a nice space right here, 19 feet across. And then let's look at how wide it is if we're going back and forth. Gotta find my laser. 11 feet, seven inches, approximate. This is all approximate, okay? I'm not building here, I'm just taking measurements for you. But man, it's nice and big. And it feels big in here, it feels spacious. It feels like you could fit quite a bit in here. Now, I'm gonna poke out the back. We're gonna have our common area back here and another unit, but it's it's not too close. I don't know if I can get my laser over there on that. Okay, look, for you, for you, only for you, I'm going to walk across this dirt, which in today's sun is not mushy or muddy at all. It's quite hard. I'm gonna walk over here so I can spin around and give you the distance, approximate distance between units. Let's see what my laser picks up. 51 feet, I don't know if you can see that. 51 feet, eight inches, you just gotta trust me. I'll go back inside and show it to you. Between the back walls, each of these units are gonna have a privacy fence up here splitting the back of the units so you don't have to walk out and immediately say hi to your neighbor. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi. Uh, look, it's no secret. Hi. Hello? But you can do that when you're ready and you can have a little bit of privacy. There it is, 51 feet, eight inches if you didn't believe me. Okay, let's take a walk upstairs and see how these rooms are laid out. All right, 
life identical because this is another three bedroom unit. I am about five minutes away from wrapping up my open house here. We had a few people stop by and take a look, which was nice. And I'm on my way home to get a shower because I am sticky and stinky and it's warm out here. But before I do that, I do want to walk you into the two bedroom unit. Although it doesn't have sheetrock up, you're still going to get a good sense of what it looks like. Again, if you don't remember kind of the space, the layout, there's only one two bedroom unit in each building right now. And that is just a matter of supply and demand. And please don't forget, I always want to act with integrity and be honest. We're all wide angle, so it may look bigger on the video than what it is in real life. Hey, there's an under contract sign. That one is sold. Right down there is a pile of dirt, which should be done in December, should be not dirt. And this is the only two bedroom unit in this building that we're going to take a walk into. Right inside, we have our half bath like we have in the other units. Big open area. The peninsula kitchen sticking out. Since it's not an end unit, you're not going to have that island. You can see the bump out, bump in, bump something for the fridge. So the fridge is going to come out to this door that I can't shut. Got our insulation. If you remember from the video I did with all the townhouses, I did point this out. We have that solid dryer vent running all through the ceiling coming down over here which is a nice little added safety feature it doesn't have the accordion vent which means there's less places for lint to get caught so let's take a walk upstairs and show you the space available up here in a two bedroom got to use your imagination a little more because we don't have the sheet rock up right at the top of the stairs some slight differences in these two bedroom units you have a walk-in closet both bedrooms are very large and both bedrooms have the vaulted ceiling with the ceiling fan we have one window little bonus extra window with the light and you have your bathroom with the shower only and that faux tile If we come down the hallway into the other bedroom upstairs, instead of a walk-in, we have these two closet areas. Still quite a bit of space as far as the closets go. And we have two windows up front instead of the one bonus window. And you have your bathroom with a tub, shower, insert. Now you might be thinking, why not just put the showers in both people like just the walk-in shower well if you have a little one if you have a child you might be more interested in having a tub so you can give them a bath so it's always nice to have a tub in a house somewhere a shub a shower tub combo as we wrap it up here at heritage point townhomes let me remind you it's going to be 111 units total 103 that are built in a fashion like this right here and there's going to be four duplexes so eight total units side by side just the duplex not the row of homes and right now as we're sitting it looks like one two bedroom unit per building so if you want to get a hold of me if you want to learn more about heritage point or any place in or around lynchburg you have my name and you have my number i would love to connect with you feel free to reach out text call email whatever you'd like to do you want to go back and watch that other video you can do that about the three best townhomes in lynchburg in my opinion and this one got honorable mention so we're coming back to do some updates from time to time so i can show you what it's all about i might be back when we have this model done and it's all furnished and laid out we'll see until next time stay safe make someone smile see ya